Hello guys, welcome to my channel. This is the 20th tutorial in this course. And in this tutorial, we're going to check out an example of unordered lists in HTML. And uh, this web page is actually pretty similar to the web page that we uh, created in the last tutorial for ordered lists. And uh, in the body section, again, on line number seven, I have uh, the center tag and the H1 tag and uh, the text example of unordered list. And I've closed the uh, H1 tag and the center tag in the set order. So, you know, this is going to be the heading of the page. And then I have the UL element on line number eight, the opening UL tag. And on line number 16, I have the closing UL tag. And UL is a short form for unordered list. Now, an un unordered list, firstly, is a list uh, that doesn't have, you know, that doesn't follow an observable sequence, right? So if uh, suppose you're listing things that uh, cannot uh, be arranged in a particular order or you know do not have to be necessarily put into some specific order then you would probably want to use an unordered list like let's say someone asks you okay uh, you know name the continents in the world and you just want to list them and uh, you know you don't have to necessarily mention Asia before uh, uh, Africa or uh, you know Europe before uh, Australia right you could mention them in any order as long as you mention all of them it's fine right so uh, that is you know the application area where you would want to use uh, unordered list and the uh, rest of the syntax is pretty similar to ordered list you have the li tag and uh, the closing li tag in between that you have your item so you know let's say i want to mention asia first so i'll have the opening li tag and the closing li tag in between that i'll have asia and then you know so on and so forth i have africa america latin america europe and uh, australia and antarctica and uh, i'll save the file and let's see it in google chrome and this is how it looks now at the moment i see uh, you know normal disks or uh, you know the conventional traditional bullets uh, being used as uh, you know the uh, bullets for the list items if suppose you want to change these to you know square uh, bullets then that's also possible all you have to do is go to your uh, ul element and give a space and type in type and uh, you know this is an attribute that we used with the ol element too that is the ordered list element and uh, you know if you want to use square bullets and you just type in square here as a value to the attribute save the file and if i refresh the page in uh, google chrome i see that the uh, bullets have now been changed to square bullets and uh, if suppose you want to use uh, hollow circles, then that's also possible. You type in circle instead of square here and uh, I'll save the file again and go back and refresh the page. And there we go. We see hollow circles now. And uh, if you want to change it back to the default mode, you could either set the type to disk and uh, save the file and refresh the browser and you would see what was there originally, or you could remove the type attribute completely you know it doesn't have to be there without it also it would uh, show you the default setting which is the same as uh, what you see on the screen right now so anyway this is all i wanted to discuss with you guys in this tutorial i'll see you in the next tutorial in which we'll discuss uh, more html tags and i hope you guys uh, found this tutorial informative and interesting and uh, you may subscribe to my channel if you haven't already i'll see you in the next video till then take care